It's kicking in. I'm feeling the dopamine. I'm feeling good. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. This is two scoops. It's not even done yet. Guys, you gotta try it. Coach Greg, in exciting news, I'm here to talk about my brand new ultimate pre-workout. It's called Hardcore 2.0. Aside from something with DMAA, this, the most intense, craziest hardcore pre-workout you could ever get. In case you didn't know this, DMMA was one of the most popular ingredients back in the early 2000s, but the stuff's banned. It's illegal. Essentially, it's like meth. And so we're not allowed to sell meth. And so this, the next best thing. And it's been designed to have 40 scoops. You can take one, two, or three scoops. Personally, I can only handle two scoops. If you're out there and you're crazy, perhaps you can handle three. I can handle two, but if you're starting out, please start at only one. And so I'm about to do a bike race, and so I'm going to be sipping on this throughout the video. And of course, I already took my GO2 Max as well as ActiBiller. Do this every day before racing and before lifting in the gym. And so I'm going to go over all the ingredients, and it'll help you to understand why this product is so good, and it'll help you to understand what you have in your own ingredients. You'll learn from this, and so please stick around around to find out. Um, so I'm going to go over what a maximum serving, that's three scoops, will do to your body. The first ingredient, NALT N-acetyl-L-tyrosine. And so you may have heard of this as Derek has this in his energy drink, but it is, of course, at a lower dose. It is a very effective supplement. If you want to get more information, of course, you can watch the video. You can buy Derek's drink, but I'm going to explain what it does in my drink. It increases dopamine, makes you feel better, allows you to push harder to the gym. And at 3,000 milligrams, that is a hefty dose. Many supplement companies, they add this, but it only includes it at 500 milligrams. So whether you use one, two, or three scoops, very good addition to any pre-workout. Up next, beta alanine. This has to be one of my favorites. They're one of the most underrated supplements in the entire world. Absolutely an essential, no-brainer add-on ingredient. Many people say, oh, it does the itchy butthole. Paresthesia. Who cares? If you use it long enough, you're going to get used to it. It'll prevent you from getting that lactic acid burn as soon into your workout. And so if you're doing a drop set or going from one machine to the next, or perhaps you're racing bikes, it's going to allow you to go harder than last time. Another thing about beta alanine, like creatine, is it takes a little while to get to its peak saturation point. And so you want to continuously take this. At three scoops, it's 3,390 milligrams. And this is a very effective dose. But if you take less, for example, two, 2000, you're still going to get many of its benefits. I personally love beta alanine so much that I literally add extra into my pre-workouts and I often take it throughout the day. You don't need to take all of it before your workout. What you need to do is take it kind of like creatine, whether it's in your body before you go to the gym or after, it's still going to have its benefits. And so my advice, get beta alanine to your body, whether it's from a pre-workout or otherwise, please include beta alanine. Up next, taurine at close to 2000 milligrams that is a lot. What this can do is increase GABA. It allows you to handle the pre-workout stimulation a lot better. Some people, when they take a pre-workout and they get stimulated, they get a little bit of an anxiety and not a good feeling in your body. This takes that edge off and so you can get both pumped and feel good at the same time. Not only that, it adds to the effects of the caffeine. And so by combining taurine with caffeine, you're going to have a much better workout than last time. And if you haven't noticed, grab any energy drink out there, perhaps a Monster or Red Bull. Notice taurine is in all of them. There's a reason for that. It is effective. And so that's why we've included it. Up next, caffeine and hydrus at 300 milligrams. We did not want to go higher. We could have, of course, included at 400 milligrams, but why? bother. And if we had caffeine at any higher than this, you would not be able to tolerate this. Remember, this is a very effective workout. And it's not just because it's got a lot of caffeine. It's got several different stimulants that's going to make you have the most intense workout of your life. And cytocholine is one of the best, but albeit the most expensive form of choline you can get. And so this is high quality at 105 milligrams. This is what you want. And remember, we also have alpha GPC at 50% of 600 milligrams. And so that's already another whopping dose to add in choline to the body. And so by combining ingredients, you can get choline from several sources. You don't need a maximum effective dose of either. These will specifically increase acetylcholine and allow you to focus more and feel the muscles in the gym. And so what studies have shown is that those who take alpha GPC have an increase in one rep max in the gym. And so if you're trying to get stronger in the gym, trying to focus more on the muscles, these are supplements you want to take. DMAE is up next, 195 milligrams. This is a 
another acetylcholine source that many athletes can get a tremendous benefit from. This will ensure that your acetylcholine levels will be topped off and you'll be able to focus greater in the gym. Up next at 345 milligrams, and this one's hard to pronounce, N-phenethyl dimethylamine. You're going to feel an amazing euphoria in the gym and it kicks fast and it kicks hard. This is the safer replacement of DMAA. Remember, that one is banned, this one is not. And so you can, in fact, take this if you're competing in drug-tested sporting competitions. Up next at 495 milligrams, beta-phenylethylamine. These are structurally similar to amphetamines. You know, things like Adderall. These are endogenously produced and bio-identical. Kind of like how testosterone is endogenous, but trend is not. Your body cannot make trend, but your body can make testosterone. And so the benefit of this is your body, it knows what to do with this. It knows how to handle it. There's not going to be abundance of negative side effects. And so this a very good stimulant to add into your pre-workout. This hits fast. It hits hard. It's going to increase your mood. It's very powerful. You are going to love it. Up next, saffron extract. Highly underrated. Many have heard of 5-HTP. It helps increase serotonin. However, what this does, it specifically targets serotonin increase in the brain. Not systemic, not throughout the body. And so consider saffron from to kind of be like a safe SSRI. No, don't go and tell your doctor you want to take saffron instead of whatever he's prescribing you, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Go and tell your doctor. Say, check out this pre-workout I want to take. Do you think it's safe? As this, it's very strong, and so we don't want anyone to just take this without their doctor's consent. And so in the end, look for saffron to help increase or elevate your mood, something we all want. We don't want to have a crash following this pre-workout. You want to feel good during and and after your workout. And get this, another amazing side effect. It can in fact decrease your appetite and potentially decrease your cravings for certain, we'll call them drugs. And up next, this very exciting NADH, 30 milligrams. There are no, as far as I'm aware of, other pre-workouts that have this. This makes us unique to other people. And so what does this stuff do? Well, two things. It helps upregulate the production of ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. You need this for energy to have it relevant available when you're in the gym sprinting doing a one rep max that is the energy you're using and NAD and NAD as you know or may not know increases your endurance and so imagine this you're both stronger and you can go longer longer than last time let's not forget NADH also stimulates dopamine production and if you don't know what dopamine is go and check out any video by Andrew Huberman if you don't understand dopamine get on it this shit's kicking in I'm feeling the dopamine I'm feeling good I'm telling you you gotta try it this is two scoops it's not even done yet guys you gotta try it up next Huberzine A at 319 micrograms this is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor is it weird that I'm getting turned on right now? That word is a sexy word. I think I'm a sapiosexual. Now, remember how I went on a blabber blab about acetylcholine and none of you understood what I was talking about? Well, this stuff, it prevents the acetylcholine from going down. We're trying to raise it for a good reason. It's a good thing. You want it. And so what this does is it prevents it from going down. You got it up there and you keep it there. Get it? Up next is piperine at 18 milligrams. And what this does is it's going to slow down how fast your body gets rid of the product. Your liver is trying to get rid of the ingredients that you just took. You drink your pre-workout. The liver is trying to get rid of it. And so what this does is it slows it down. It allows those ingredients to act longer in the body, which is what you want. Why would you want to take a pre-workout and have it only last 15 minutes? So this is going to make it last longer than last time. Interested in this pre-workout? It's the best pre-workout out there. Tastes amazing. Please head over to my website and don't forget to enter code GREG 10% off. And of course, we have several other products to choose from. Protein bars, creatine, protein powders, GO2 Max, Acti Builder. So many, I can't list them all. Also, the cookbooks and the Harder Than Last Time clothing line. Head over to my website. And if you have no money, head over there anyway. Free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you liked it. Please leave a comment. It helps the algorithm. Also, watch one of those two bloops. And until next time, don't forget Code Greg. I'm out.